Origin ships with a lot of built-in fitting functions. Using them to perform curve fitting is very easy. I have a data set already plotted in the graph. I will perform curve fitting to it using the built-in Gauss function. With the graph active, select Analysis, Fitting, Nonlinear Curve Fit to open the NL Fit dialog. This dialog will help us complete the curve fitting. First, I will pick Gauss from the function drop-down. In the input graph, we can already see a fitted curve. Although it is not a perfect fit for the input curve, it's not too far from it. In the Messages tab, we can see the parameter initialization was called. For any built-in function, Origin assigns initial values to function parameters based on the input data and the parameter initialization codes that is saved with the function. This is why the fitted curve is determined by the initial values of the parameters that's already shown in the graph. In the Residual tab, you can see the current residuals and you can judge whether the fitting is good or not. Click on the Fit Until Converged button. The Messages tab says that the fitting converges after five iterations. In the graph, we can see the fitted curve is much better. Click OK to close the dialog. Now, if you want to change the fitting options, let's say you want more data points in the fitted curve, you can bring up the NL Fit dialog again and change the settings. Click on the lock icon and select Change Parameters. The NL Fit dialog opens again using the same settings we used last time. Select Fitted Curves in the left panel. Now change the number of data points in the fitted curve from 100 to 200 and click Fit. In the workbook, there is a Fit NL Curve 1 worksheet. It holds the fitted curve's data. If you scroll down, you can see that there are 200 data points total. If the function is not one of Origin built-in functions, you can create your own function and use it to perform the fitting. Suppose we want to fit this curve with this function. We need to define the function using the fitting function organizer before using it in the curve fitting. Click on Tools, Fitting Function Organizer. We need to select or create a category for the function. I will just put it under Origin Basic Functions. Click on New Function and enter a function name. Then define three variables Y0, A, and B. Now enter the function definition. I will copy it and paste it into the function box. Notice that origin C is used to define the function. The parameter names and the parameters used in the function definition should all match, including the case. Now we can compile the function. Click on this button to open the function in Code Builder. Click Compile. This step helps us to see whether the function is properly defined. If there are any errors, it cannot be used in the Curve Fitting tool. Save the function and click OK to close the dialog. Now we can use this function to perform curve fitting. We'll open the nonlinear curve fit again. Choose the function we have just defined. Because we did not enter any parameter initialization code when we defined the fitting function, Origin cannot determine the initial values for the parameters. This is why you only see missing values here. You will have to provide either the initial values or the code for the parameters initialization. Let's just enter some rough estimate values for the parameters. 1, 1, 0 0.1. Now click on the chi-squared button. 
we can see the fitted curve that is calculated from the initial values. This button is to perform a single iteration of the fitting. The parameter values as well as the fitted curve have changed. Of course, we can click the Fit Until Converged button. The NL Fit tool will perform several iterations until the fitting converges. The final fitted curve is very good. We can finish by clicking OK. Let's take a look at the report sheet. Here you can see the equation of the function. And you can see the fitted values of the parameters. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.